This is the Hermitcraft server, a survival multiplayer world where we are building up some pretty massive projects. So far, I have a beautiful, elegant, elven palace for a base. My neighbor is an alien, and I have a dwarven man living below me. Beef has made a card game that we're all addicted to, and I've also had to drain an entire ocean monument in order to get prismarine. But now it's time for what could possibly be my biggest project ever. This is my mega base I've been building, and I want to put a tree in it. Eh, welcome to Hermitcraft, everyone. This is gonna take a lot of work. So, first things first, let's gather some materials. This project was about to be absolutely huge, but I had no idea how many materials I was gonna need. Luckily, on the Hermitcraft server, we had this shopping system where you can buy blocks from other hermits with diamonds. So I did that for the majority of the pink blocks, but I still had to chop a whole bunch of wood. Luckily, with some help from Pearlescent Moon, I got the wood and also got very organized. Thanks, Pearl. I've got my supplies together and it's time to start on today's project, which, oh boy, this is gonna take all of this and more. This is a pretty big empty area in my base and I wanna fill it with something absolutely epic. This central point of my base needs a magical tree. And well, every magical tree starts with some magical roots at the base. This might take a while. Not gonna lie, this has already taken like four stacks of wood. How? How has this taken four stacks of wood? Regardless of that though, this is looking pretty good. I've got these curly roots here and I think I'm gonna have them submerged in water and we'll have the water overflowing down into the river. We'll think of some lore and we'll have tons of time to do so because this is going to take hours. So many hours. So many in fact that I had better get back to work. Progress update, we have a stump. That's a good stump, a solid stump. I want it to be a very twisty and magical tree, so <laughs> it's, it's a little weird looking at the moment, but this is the size of the main trunk, and that's important to know because I don't actually think that's too big. I feel like that sits on top of that very well and balanced. It's not like crazy thick. I think that looks great. Of course, we can have some roots intertwined with the actual building as well eventually, but for now, eh, that's pretty solid. Progress on the tree is going well. I admit, it's a little weird going layer by layer like this. And also, I'm very impatient, so I would like to build up a bunch of the branches now so that we can get a better idea of what the shape of this is, because I think it's looking epic. For now though, this is how much wood I have left, and I wanna see if I can mark in a bunch of the branches. So this one, for example, is going to come up over here. This is already way better. With this outline, I can totally see how this needs to reach around the building. So I'm gonna continue doing that. This is my last spruce wood. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am not even close to finishing the branches on this tree. I mean, they need to be a lot thicker. So I'm gonna need so much more wood it's actually shocking how much wood this has taken. All right, 29 wood left, and I think I wanna take a look at what the heck I've done here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's definitely um, very artistic, I think. Do you know what? I actually think that it takes up the space really nicely. Obviously, I've gotta continue with the pink bits, and I've gotta thicken a bunch of these branches, but this does not look too bad. Only thing is, I'm gonna need so much more spruce wood. Let's see if I have any left in my base. Oh, nope, 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 eh, 49. So we don't have a ton of spruce wood. We do, however, have a whole ton of spruce saplings, and I also think that I have a bunch of bone meal. Yeah, I do. Nobody worry, I'm gonna just spend the next hour of my life down here farming spruce wood. No better way to spend a day, really. I've managed to restock some of the wood that I might need to finish a few more layers of branches. However, while we're on the topic of restocking things, something very important has come up. You see, I am a lot of things on this server. I build, and I am an elf, and I have a mega base, and currently I'm building a tree, but also, on a side of that, I am the sole provider of Prismarine. And since I am currently building out of all things pink, 
I feel I had better give some prismarine to everybody else. This lovely industrial part of my base out here is something that I feel like we sometimes forget that I did, <laughs> but I, I did do it. I did drain an entire ocean monument, and I made a very efficient farm. I have been a little bit bad about using it lately, but uh, I'm here to change that. Okay, um, put up with the noise for a moment. I'm so sorry. So I spent the next 30 minutes or so taking a break from my lovely pink cherry tree to restock my prisoner. Look, the people have gotten so desperate, they're buying from my farm. Oh, goodness. You know, it's not much, but it is better than nothing, so I'm going to go stop the shopping district with this. But first, a quick trade. I gotta repair my wings. My prismarine will now be moved into the beautiful, ginormous mall that is Impulse's shop. I believe he allowed me to take over this corner, so I'm, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to take it over. Let's see how the old shop is doing. Yep. It was a nice shop, but alas, well, it's sold out, isn't it? I do need to remember the prices, though, and put them on the new shop. Mission accomplished. The prismarine provider is back, and I've taken a screenshot so I can show the hermits. Right, uh, let's get back to work, shall we? It has been three whole days. Three days of placing these pink blocks, and, um... Well, it's not exactly finished, is it? It's looking a little bit empty. Although, I do really like it. I think that it genuinely adds a lot to this base. I mean, looking up now, it's just fascinating. Obviously, we're also going to need to bring some of that pink down here into the base, which I've already done a little bit with some of the crimson in the mega base, but we could bring some down to the ground level as well. But for now, oh my goodness. Stunning. There is a problem though. As well as I've done in these last three days, I need to finally finish this. And well, I'm nearly at the top of this build, so I guess I'm nearly done, right? So what do you say we do the final push and get the rest of this done in one day? Honestly, today's Valentine's Day and I have nothing better to do, so let's do it. Let's build a tree. This is taking so long. I've started sort of breaking the project up into quarters, so I'm working on fluffing up this front quarter right now, but as you can see, I'm, uh, well, progress is slow. Good news, though, is that from the front, it is actually starting to look like a tree. <laughs> Slowly, slowly starting to look like a tree. I like the curves though. I feel like it's really starting to come together. We're gonna need to add a lot of details, but I gotta get the rest of these leaves in first. And I feel like that alone is gonna take me all day. Now, to be honest, I have a lot more leaves to place on this thing. I mean, it's pretty empty and I'm starting to run out of materials. Let me show you. I'm, yep, I mean, that's not very much pink. And then, yeah, okay, none in there. And then I have a lot of pink wool. The good news though is on the Hermit Craft server, when you get low on materials, you can actually just go ahead and buy those materials from somebody else. And as long as I have diamonds, which thankfully I do, I should be able to stock back up no problem at spawn. Gosh, that is looking good though. I love a cherry blossom tree and we're heading into spring as well. This is perfect timing. I'm looking at light sources for this tree and I'm thinking this is the closest I'm gonna get to a pink light source. So let's buy 64 so that my tree doesn't become a mob spawner. Some end rods might actually help with that as well. I've accidentally sold Impulse completely out of pink terracotta, but he does have a full shulker of terracotta 18 diamonds. So there you go, Impulse, I will take one. Luckily for me, I have no shortage of bone meal. And thanks to my new gardens, I have no shortage of pink dye. Ah yeah, this is easy. Into the smelter these go. What is this man doing? <laughs> man, you really gotta keep an eye out for things on the server. Um, anyways, <laughs> things are going well. 
I tell you what, I'm really getting to hone my parkour skills here on this tree. <laughs> Doing a lot of jumping from branch to branch here. Oh, come on! You know, I was a little worried that this thing was going to start spawning mobs, and, uh, well, it, it has. It has. <laughs> hey, dudes! What you doing? It's nice of you to join me up here. You just give me a second. I'll be right back. Uh, sorry about that. Shot in the forehead. Got him. And you're gonna have to go as well. Oops. Well, uh, that was exciting. Back to work. We're almost done. Did I... Did I accidentally manifest cherry trees in Minecraft? Because as I finish up this cherry tree, <laughs> Minecraft has just tweeted out that they are adding cherry trees to Minecraft in the latest snapshot. That's insane. <laughs> it's gonna be way cooler than this, but good news is if this Hermitcraft season is still going on, depending on when this update comes out, we don't know that yet, but if it comes out in time, I will be able to add actual cherry trees and blossoms to this tree and also the surrounding biome. So I'm really excited about that. And as for my custom tree, I've still got a couple of areas to kind of um, clean things up, as you could tell. But I also want to go in and maybe add a few details. Oh, gotta be really good at parkour to do this. There we go. First of all, we're definitely going to need to add some lights because this is right now a giant mob spawner. Literally, all I'm going to do for that is just... I'm just gonna hide lighting like maybe one there and it does kind of blend in these are a little bit purple and not so much pink But you know you get the idea. It's hidden. It's hidden enough. Look. There's literally a zombie already Dude, it's a good thing. I have smite on my axe. Get out of here Jeez, all right. I've placed like 34 frog lights throughout this thing, which is probably not enough but it's certainly better than zero. Now for my next order of business. This is looking pretty plain right now. I've mixed in a couple of these planks, but I think I'd like to go a little bit further with the texturing. So we're gonna need some more dark oak because that's what blends really good with spruce. I also feel like I'm gonna be cleaning up after myself for the next month. Goodness me. <laughs> So, for the texturing on this thing, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along with my dark oak wood and I'm going to just highlight things. So, I don't know if this is gonna make a ton of sense, but yeah, see how this color is just a little bit lighter? I'm gonna have to be very careful with what I'm clicking as I go up here, but I should just be able to do a little row of highlight all along these branches. I wanted the details on this organic to be perfect. I mean, this was probably my biggest survival project ever. It had to be just right. So I spent quite a while adjusting a whole bunch of the texturing and then eventually adding a whole bunch of fences as little droopy details below the leaves. Everyone, this might be my best Minecraft survival build ever. Genuinely ever. <laughs> <laughs> and as with every Minecraft survival build, there is still a lot of work and cleanup to be done, but gosh, I'm proud of this organic. I just feel like from every single angle, it just adds so much. It's blossoming out of this giant elven palace. And I can't imagine a better outcome for this. I really like it. Of course, there's other stuff we could add. There's dirt that I gotta clean up. <laughs> there's things to do, but I am so happy. And, of course, thank you all for joining me on the journey. We did it. We built a mega cherry tree in Minecraft. This thing is insane. Hold on. Let me look at it with some shaders. I'm, put, I'm turning on shaders while I'm flying. This is... It's risky. Am I going to die? Am I going to be dead? I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Okay, okay. There it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Oh yeah, that's a solid build if I've ever seen one. And with that everyone, I suppose I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe for more!